The lesson for today is Physics 1505. We'll be focusing on question 15, May, June 2020 exam. Let us start. This is the question that we will be dealing with today. Let us jump straight to the scenario. The scenario says a system comprising blocks, a light frictionless pulley, a frictionless incline, and connecting ropes is shown in the figure. The 9.0 kg block accelerates downwards when the system is released from rest. The tension in the rope connecting the 6.0 kg block and the 4 kg, 4.0 kg block is closest to. So we are actually looking for this tension here. So we need to understand the basics of how to tackle this question. We also need to understand how many forces are acting on the object. We have to draw free body diagrams. We have to understand each and every key word that is given from this scenario. Checking most of my students feedback on this question it was not that bad but we still have few concepts and mistakes that we need to rectify let us start with the 6.0 kg block looking at the free body diagram we have We have this. This will be the normal force. This will be our FG. And then this will be our tension. Before we do that, let us say this is T1 and that this would be T2. Since we have two ropes between um, three objects in this case. So this T will be T2. Since the incline is frictionless, it means that we don't have kinetic friction. So basically, this is the free body diagram of the 6.0 kg block. Looking at the free body diagram of the 4.0 kg, we have FG, we have normal force, we have T1, Remember that this object or this system will move this direction. Then this one will move this direction due to T1. Then this will move this direction due to T2. So we have T1 and then we have T2 here. This is the free body diagram of the 4 kg block. And then looking at the free body diagram of the 9.0 kg block. We simply have FG and T1. We should know that the system moves this direction when you look at the 9.0 kg block, meaning that you are going to take this direction as positive and then the opposite direction as negative. Now, since the system is moving this direction for both of these objects, we will take this direction as positive and this one is negative. So we need to check how many forces are doing work to the object. Let us start with the 9.0 kg. The object is moving up and down. We can see the displacement is down. It means that we'll be looking at forces going up and down. Then all the forces which are left and right will do no work to the object. So in this case, we can see that both of these forces are doing work to the object. And then looking at the 4.0 kg block, we can see that the system's displacement or the object's displacement is this direction. So how many forces will be doing work? It's T1, T2, and let us not forget that force that is always there when we have an incline, which is FG, 
parallel. So each and every object that is on top of an incline, it always experiences this force which is parallel to the displacement or you can say parallel to the surface. So we have three forces here. Here we have two forces which are doing work. Then looking at the 6.0 kg block, it also has that FG parallel because it is also on top of an incline. So we have one and then it will be that FG parallel. Two. So these are the basics that you need to know in order to solve this. Remember that you are looking for T2. So the next step is to generate equations for each and every object that we have here. So to generate the equation, we are going to start with Fnet. It's equals to Ma. Then is the sum of all the forces which are doing work. So we have this T2 and then we said we have that Fg parallel. So this direction will be positive, the opposite direction will be negative. So we have T2, which will be um, positive because it's in the same direction as the object's displacement minus Fg parallel, it's equals to Ma. Then from here, T2 minus, we know that Fg parallel, it's Mg sine theta, it's equals to Ma. From here, we have T2 minus the mass, it's 6.0. G is 9.8 sine. We look at the angle of the slope, which is 30 degrees. Sine 30 degrees is equal to the mass, it's 6.0. And then we have acceleration here. From here, we can make T2 the subject of the formula by transposing all of these to the other side then we'll have 6.0 a plus 6.0 9.8 sine 30 degrees so t2 we have 6.0 a plus 29.4 then this will be our equation one so we are done with the equation of 6.0. We have to do the very same thing with the other objects. For our next object, you can pause the video and try to work out the equation and play the video to verify. So looking at the equation for this, we are going to have our Newton's second law. And then we have T1, which will be positive, minus T2, which will be negative, T2 you can see that it's in the opposite direction and then once we include our FG parallel which is also in this direction it will be minus FG parallel equals to MA then we have T1 minus T2 minus MG sine theta it's equals to MA so we don't have T1, we don't have T2. So we can rewrite and then we substitute 4.0, 9.8, sine 30 degrees, it's equals to 4.0a. Then from here we can transpose this to the other side. We have T1 minus T2, it's equals to 4.0a plus 4.0, 9 sine 30 degrees. T1 minus T2, it's equals to 4.0a plus 19.6. This will be our equation number two. I hope you got the equation correct. For our 9.0 kg block, 
we have Fnet, it's equals to MA. And then remember that you don't have um, AG parallel in this case because the object is not on top of an incline. And the displacement of the object is this direction. So you're going to take down as positive, up as negative. So we have FG, which is positive, minus T1 equals to MA. Then we know that FG is MG minus T1 equals to MA. But before we can substitute, we can make T1 the subject of the formula by transposing this to the other side, bringing this one to the side. Double transpose. We are going to have MG minus MA equals to T1. Then our mass is 9.0. We have 9.8 minus 9.0A is equals to T1. So T1 it's equals to negative 9.0a plus 88.2. This is equation 3. Now that we have the equations for all the objects that we have, we made this, we made T1 the subject of the formula. Then we have our other equation. Let us make this um, T2 the subject of the formula. Since we made that one the subject of the formula T1, let us make this the subject of the formula T2. So we are going to take everything, the side, and then take T2 the other side. So our equation will be T2, which will be positive since it's negative here. We transpose, we are going to get a positive T2 equals to T1 minus 4.0 A minus 19.6. Still equation number three. You can see that the signs have changed because we transposed. Now, since this is standardized. Or even if you can use another method whereby we just use this one, it's okay, T1 and T2. Let us go to the other equation. Since this one, the subject of the formula is T2, so it means that we are going to take this, or let me say where we see T2 from this equation, this our T2, we are going to substitute by this here. And then where we see T1, which is here we are going to substitute by this because you can see t1 it's equals to this when we see t1 we substitute by this basically that is what we're going to do so let us go ahead and substitute so we said when we see t1 we are going to substitute by negative 9.0a plus 82 so we have negative 9.0a plus 8.2 minus we are going to substitute t2 here so our t2 is 6 point make sure I remove this so that I don't make any mistakes it's 6.0 plus 29.4 6.0 plus 29.4 equals to what we have on the right hand side plus 19.6 then we can simply remove this bracket by multiplying here we're going to have 9.0 a plus 82 I mean 88.2 minus 6.0 a minus 29.4 equals to 4.0 a plus 19.6 looking at the like terms all the terms that has a it's this one 
this one and this one so we group them transpose this to our side we're going to have 9 point negative 9 point 0 a minus 6 point 0 a uh, minus 4 point 0 a then we are going to transpose this and this to the other side we're going to have negative 88.2 plus 29.4 plus 19.6 so this will, be, will give us negative 19a equals 2 then this one will give us negative 39.2 divide both sides by negative 19 or a is equals to 2,063 meters per second squared. So this is the acceleration of the system. This 9.0 kg moves at 2.063 and both of these are moving at, are accelerating at 2.063. So we are almost done with our answer. Remember that we are looking for T, T2. This is our T2. So we can go ahead and look for any equation that has T2 and substitute our acceleration. Here it is. We can use this one. So where we see A, we substitute by the acceleration we got. So we have 6.0, then 2.063 plus 29.4. We get our T2 as. 41.778 newtons then this if we round off to the nearest you're going to get 42 newtons so this should be the correct answer looking at the multiple choice question you can see that it's option e so the correct option here is e well that's it for this lesson video i hope it will be helpful to my students especially those that had um, challenges when answering this question so the basics are the same for each and every scenario that you might come across use the basics that were provided during the discussion of this topic then everything will be well the next lesson video will be covering another question which was provided and had challenges along the way. This is Wakula SJ. Thank you very much.